Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing well. I'm actually feeling a little bit under the weather today. I don't know if I got the flu or what, but woke up with a sore throat, started to get some work done, and decided to come back home and, and sleep today because I'm not feeling that great. But it's been a couple days since I made a vlog and I said I was gonna do one every day in September, so I've already missed two days, so I thought I'd need to make one for today. Anyway, the purpose of this vlog, the message that that I've been thinking about is, and, and this has kind of come through in recent vlogs, is musician insecurity. Comparing yourself to other musicians. And um, sometimes we'll use even our gear to compare ourselves to other musicians. There's insecurity there. But there was a time in my life where I was extremely insecure as a musician. Uh, to the point where if I encountered another guitar player that was better than me, it was almost impossible for me to give that guitar player props. <laughs> and so there was one time, uh, this is just an example, one of many examples, but when I was a freshman in college, I went to this school called Oral Roberts University. And, you know, when you go into, like, it's a small Christian college, there's like 5,000 people maybe. When you go into a place like that, there's, there's kind of its own little bubble and its own little system and hierarchy of who's important and who's not and all that kind of thing. And so to make the, the music team, the worship team um, for the chapel services was kind of a big deal. So I tried out and I made the team and, you know, that just stroked my ego really well. And so for, you know, in a lot of ways, I was one of the better guitar players. I considered myself at least one of the better guitar players there um, that year. At the same time, my roommate, he was one of the worship leaders for this church. And the son of the pastor uh, was a guitar player, and he was really amazing. Uh, matter of fact, you may even know who he is if you're into, like, worship music. His name was Michael Gunger. And... He had been playing for you know years and years and practiced all the time, and he was just an amazing guitar player. And I could never bring myself to basically give him props for for being awesome. So you know there would be times where I would say things that were that were just like passive aggressive, almost even aggressive aggressive. Like uh, my roommate, he played with them, so he you know all three of us played. And he he would know he more than anybody knew how much better he was than I was, how much better Michael was than I was. And I met Michael a couple of times, but I didn't really know him. We weren't friends. Um, and he would say things like, man, this, this, you know, he is really good. I'm like, yeah, he's pretty good. That kid's pretty good for a high school, high school player or something like that. I would say, say things to try to demean him in the process of, you know, acknowledging that he was good. And, it wasn't until that a couple of years later, really, where I realized that, that I'm not going to move forward. That's an aspect of my musicianship that I just need to get in control, is that I'm never going to be the best guitar player. I'm never going to be the best musician. There's always somebody else out there. And yeah, there's, there's people that are better in different ways than you, and you're better than them in different ways. But even in the same genre, like there's people that are just always going to be better than you. And when I kind of realize that it's this, not just realizing it, but acknowledge that it's like a weight that comes off your shoulders, it came off mine. And so I look back on that and I think two things. The first is I didn't grow in my musicianship by having that attitude. There was nothing in, in my playing that increased and was better at or anything like that by demeaning someone else and trying to raise myself up. There's nothing, nothing good really came out of it. Secondly, I could have taken that opportunity to improve myself. I could have said, man, Michael Gunger is an amazing guitar player. He's a year younger than me. He's been playing for a couple years less than me, I think, but he's way better than me. You know, I need to like meet him. I need to, to pick his brain. I need to watch him. I need to see what he's doing that's making him so good. And I could have made that a learning experience. I could have been a better musician from that, but I chose to be insecure instead. 
So I would just like to encourage us musicians, if you're in that place in life where you're like, you just find it difficult to compliment somebody, just try to compliment people's playing as much as possible. Whether it be a you know a guitar player in a professional band that's famous, whether it be somebody you know, um, you know, just just take the plunge and be like, yeah, that guy's better than me, and man, that guy, I wish I could play as good as him or her, and you know, taking that that uh, that step forward, you'll actually become a better musician from that. Ironically, anyway, hopefully this video helped you and uh you'll give it a thumbs up i'm about to hit the bed because i am i am absolutely exhausted so i've got my my little my cup of tea here and i'm going to drink and then i'm going to crash anyway kenneth russell out uh i'll check you in another video thanks for watching